The other day we were talking about powers in the bloodline part one. Some time ago we talked about powers in the bloodline part two. Today I want us to quickly look at powers in the bloodline part three. Chadoko, what is power? Power is the ability to issue a command and produce a desired result. Power helps you to speak things that are not into existence, into existence. Power enables you to command things to be the way you want them to be. Now, what does that mean if we are to bring it into our bloodline? Powers in the bloodline would mean things, forces, other forces of grace or forces of darkness that has come into our bloodline as a result of certain doings in the past and has caused a direction in our bloodline which is somehow affecting us positively or negatively today. Even though we have given our life to Christ, even though we are good titles, we, we go to church, we pray, we fast, yet so many of us are suffering from these powers. While so many of us are enjoying from this power, depending on which of the powers is activated in your own bloodline. Hear me, child of God. Uh, today we will be looking at Genesis chapter 20 to, as our text. The Bible recorded that at the time Abraham journeyed from where he was to Kadesh, from Kadesh to Gary. In Gary, there he met a king called Abimelech. Before entering into the city, Abraham told the wife, Let us not agree that you're my wife. Let us agree that you're my sister. Let these people take you away from me and kill me. Now that was a lie and Abraham activated this. Abraham thought he was just speaking to the wife. Abraham thought he was just talking, but Abraham never knew. He was activating a power in his bloodline. Now here may the Bible says in the Old Testament that God feasts the iniquity of the people. And just like also he feasts the blessings of the people unto the fourth generation. So God feasts the iniquity of any man unto the fourth generation. Now let's quickly look at this. Abraham lied to King Abimelech. He told King Abimelech that his wife was his sister. He activated the power of lies in his bloodline. Now, Isaac in the book of Genesis chapter 26 lied to Abimelech also. Isaac lied to Abimelech. Isaac at the time where he was, there was things wasn't going fine. There was famine. He decided to cross into Egypt and there he lied that his wife was also his sister. Now look at it. Now Abraham lied to the king. Now Isaac lied to the king that his wife was his sister. That was power. Isaac didn't know why he lied. Isaac had no reason to lie. He didn't even understand what he was doing. But because there was a power that had been activated in their bloodline, so it was affecting him. So Isaac was the first generation. Now Abraham was the first generation. Isaac was the second generation. Now when Isaac gave birth, he gave birth to a young boy called Esau and secondly to Jacob, his younger brother. Now, when it was time for Isaac to bless his children, the Bible recorded that he told his son Isaac, to, I mean his son Esau, to go on and get him uh, and hunt for him a beautiful animal and make him a baby soup so he can eat and bless him. Now, uh, the mother heard of that and quickly called Jacob his son and instructed him on what to do. So Jacob came forth with the baby suit, the porridge that had been cooked, and lied to his father, Isaac, that he was Esau. That was to the third generation. Now, the generation of lies. These people had activated the power of lies in their generation, and it was existing. They were lying without knowing. They were lying without even consciousness of why they were lying. Now, Isaac, uh, uh, Jacob lied to his father Isaac that he was Esau. So he took the blessings belonging to his brother through lies. Now, when Jacob had his own wife, he had about two wives and had about 12 children, 11 of his children came back one day and lied to him that an animal had killed his son. Uh, which actually they were the one who sold. They sold Joseph 
his son to Ishmael, uh, uh, to the Gamelites and uh, into slavery. But they returned back and lied to their father that animal, white animal had killed their brother. Now, that was the fourth generation and that was only when that lie and that case rested. Hear me, child of God. I don't know what you are going through now. I don't know what you are suffering from. I don't know what you are battling with and I don't know what is battling with you. I don't know what your forefathers or your great-grandparents had activated in the bloodline. That as we speak now, you are going through it. You've fasted, you've prayed, you've done everything and yet it has remained so. To some people, it is madness to some people it is marriage issue there are some ladies that their mother had a problem with childbearing and had to go off to native doctor or to certain places before they could conceive and they too are suffering the same thing i have seen this kind of family i prayed with them when the case was brought to me number one sister was suffering from what the mother suffered number two sister was suffering from what the mother suffered number three sister was suffering from what the mother suffered everyone was suffering from the same thing there are some families where poverty was activated that everyone they will start up it will look like everything is going fine before you know it everything will start going gaga nothing seems to be going all right they don't know why things are going the way they are going some families it is the first male children or first male female children they always pay for others pay way for others to come and do better you will see them I bet they will start doing very fine. Everybody will see them as a wonderful children, brilliant children, excellent children. They get into a business, they get into work, they get into school. Everything is all right. Before you know it, catastrophe will strike from nowhere. Everything will start falling apart. They will watch their younger one coming back to become everything that they had wished and had dreamt to be. It to some people, it is madness at a certain age, somebody must go mad or go dead. To certain places, it is one thing or the other. I do not know. To certain families, it is uh, 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 activation, powers of having more than one wife. That's polygamous activation. The, if, 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 if they are married, maybe their forefathers activated the power of polygamous uh, 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 power. Okay, so no one will just exist without. To some people, it is powers that their children must impregnate someone. To, to some, it is activation that a, where a, grand, a great grandfather or a great grandmother he got impregnated or impregnated someone and something happened and these other people are suffering from it to some people it is a case living in the bloodline everybody is suffering it but no one knows why they are suffering it i don't know what you are suffering from i don't care what you are suffering from today i pray for you wherever you may be under the sound of my voice but i want you to know that whatever you're suffering from has a beginning time and whatever has a beginning time has an end time but i put it to you today that you need to pray you will need to pray and fast asking god to reveal to you the reason why you are going through what you are going through you need to come closer to god you will need to embrace god because it takes power to break power it takes power to break power if you are suffering from any power in your bloodline now it will require a higher force of heaven it will require a, the higher force of the universe it will require the higher force of god to break you out of that power so i pray for you now wherever you may be under the sound of my voice may the grace of god fall upon you now may the power of his holiness come upon you may the anointing of god that brace every you come upon you and may every yoke of darkness every yoke of powers in your bloodline, every negative powers running in your bloodline that is currently choking you up, affecting you, limiting the forces of grace on your life. I command them to be scattered in the name of Jesus. I command them to be scattered now in the name of Jesus. I set you free by the power and mandate in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare your freedom today and I said you are free in Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you.